Hello everybody and welcome to yet more Perpetual Testing! Today we have Courier, and this was created by Hanky Mueller and recommended by Dot Milo and is based on an original puzzle design by the very, very clever duo of Ozzy Flowall and the infamous Alison Ghost. So a very big thank you to that long list of names. Uh, today's map, as you can clearly see, is a monoportal puzzle, which means, first of all, calm down, Hugo. And secondly, described as a monoportal laser puzzle, which will test your ability to calculate efficient package delivery routes, which means this should be very, very easy for me, because we, as we all know, I am extremely efficient at playing and problem solving in this game. Yeah, I heard it too. Right, anyway, let the science begin. Our exit is immediately located here, adjacent to our entrance, and it is connected straight away to... Really? Just just a pedestal button right there, huh? A pedestal button that, once accessed, means I can't get anywhere near the exit, right? Of course! That is how portal puzzle designers mock the player. If this was a hammer map, that's where the tube would come down with the confetti and be like, Yay, you made it! Well done! Now try and get there. Which, which we're going to do. Right, uh, mono portals, which means somewhere there is an auto place portal panel pre-placed for us, which is probably located at the other end of this one, right? It is. It is here, wherever this is. Uh, this is a red zone with a button connected to a laser emitter here. Gigantic bit of fizzlation going on. Panels upon the floor. Laser receiver for the fizzler we just crossed. And a button here. Button here connected to cube delivery tube delivering. Laser refraction cube. Probably very, very important since, you know, lasers and angles and whatnot. Big bit of glass here, big bit of glass there. There's where we entered, so... We went diagonally across the chamber, apparently. So is this, like, multiple quadrants of portaling? Yeah, multiple quadrants of pre-placed portals. Uh, Fizzler over there. Panel, panel, something connected to that button. And that bit that we were in previously, which I didn't actually take the time to look into and see what else was accessible from it. Anyway, that's a good place to start. Uh, is this significant? Indicating angles of some importance? Nothing important particularly over there. Uh, laser emitter there, however, does appear to directly line up with you. So that's going to come into play at some point. Uh, I was recently told in a more recent mono portal puzzle about a technique entitled pocketing, which, um... I'm getting the feeling this is going to come into play in. And I will attempt to explain it in all of my ineptitude when we actually start doing it. So what can we actually start doing? Uh, standing upon you will emit a laser directly over to a panel we currently have no access to. Fizzler in the way, but we do have cube. Cube means angles can be achieved, which means line up with you. Place you. Oh, yes, angles are important because we have the optical aiming alignment device, so there and there and me stepping around probably means that's useless now so there and now we will go test my optical alignment ability stand upon you should get rid of the fizzler yes no because my optical alignment ability is absolutely useless clearly i need two i need one that like connects to you yeah so i can see if this line is straight or not which means just back a bit more right like there Depth perception, absolutely useless. Uh, let's go stand on you again. This should get rid of the fizzler if aligned correctly. It does. Now, that only gives us access to the panels up there and the panels there. And the panels up there are far more exciting panels than the panels down there at the moment. So, up here gets us up to this level that was inaccessible from down there. Uh, there is another cube delivery tube, regular weighted cube by the looks of it. Set of stairs cube recepting pit with some panels, a uh, clear view of our gaping wide exit, another set of stairs, and this sort of trench thing we were in earlier. Laser receptor there, connects to some of those conveniently concealed aperture stairs, and that button there, probably also connected to some conveniently concealed stairs. Right, so this is going to take me a good long while. Let's get this cube. Uh, getting this cube will land in a pit, right? Because the button is down in here, and there's no way out other than predefined portal placement panels. So, let's get a cube. Uh, that lets us take you into here, which actually means 
we can have permanently activated lasers, which is probably going to be a very, very important thing to have. So what can we actually do next then? Uh, everything else is located behind two pieces of glass over in that kind of direction, which will give us a set of stairs here. Yeah, so we probably want to get over to that bit. To get over to that bit then, we have to go via the predefined placements, which is you, right? Yes, because we can go place a portal from across the room and come back this way. So back up to this level, down these set of stairs. This should give us a shot over to that one panel there. Also gives us those. Those feel like towards the end. Oh, also panels on the ceiling. Probably again towards the end. Uh, that gives us access to you. And via the miracle of stairs that we don't actually have to bother doing anything to get a hold of, we can go back to our predefined panel, which lets us get over to you. So getting over to you, what does that give us from this angle? Uh, from over here, we can press this button. We can press it with all of our mighty weight. It does. It did do a set of those convenient aperture concealed stairs there. Uh, that's all it gives us for now, though, isn't it? Um, do I want to go up there? No, I can't get back that way. So still my only way back and forth is here. Or you, but Fizzler will turn off the portal. So what would it make sense to do here? I suppose if we had cube weight here... Do I want to hit you? I want to hit you, really, don't I? Because that will let us get up to there. Uh, to hit you... Laser does come all the way into here from there. So I suppose if I brought the laser cube here, we could hit you, and that would let us go back around that way again. But why would we want to go back around that way again at the moment? I don't know, but I don't know what else to do. So get that laser cube and bring it here? How can I get that laser cube and bring it here? Is it the laser cube? Who, what, what do you do? You do the set of stairs there. So I suppose we could go that way and jump up. Or just use the steps. But then we're going to have to have a cube for that. So... Not the laser cube, because the laser doesn't come aligned here. It does come aligned here. To do you. Seems like a plan. Let's try that then. Uh, let's go get the laser cube. Is that even possible? If we had the laser go into here, it would be, wouldn't it? Because then it would come back out of there. Yeah, okay. Uh, that means you gets me into here. You're still all open like that. Then if I align you... Off of there, laser comes out there, and we can put it there. Right. So what does that let me do now then? Um, gives us more laser options. I could take this cube over there now and press that button down, which would give me stairs back up that way. I'm getting the feeling this is a... Actually, it's more than a feeling because I've played Hanky Mueller maps in the past. Things you can do tend to suggest the next thing you can do. So that makes me think then, take this cube over there? Can I take that cube over there? I could put it in this small space here. Would there be any reason to put it in this small space here? There is no reason to put it in that small space there, is there really? Uh, what about if you go back there then I come back into here maybe it is the laser cube is there any way to do the laser receptor over here from all the way over there yes there is so what if we attempt to get you over there Is that even possible? Uh, let's do that there then. Brings you here. But then I can't put a portal up there. Because you're here. 
no, so probably, probably not that, right? Uh, you go back there for the sec, then. Leave a portal up there. Bring you into here? Feel like I've messed up the thing I had set up over there. Uh, let's go back up that way and set that back up again. Because that felt like a form of progress. So you, back round, nope, use the stairs like a competent human, up these ones and then up these ones as well. You get a new cube, then we lose the laser and we lose the way back through there. So this is the monoportaling alignment part where my efficiency goes straight out the window. Um, got to have you, right? Surely it's to do with having you so I can get up there? Why do I want to get up there? Well, lasers cross through there, right? So it's got to be something to do with that, which means you felt like a thing that was actually kind of useful. So let's line you back up here. Like so. Then if you're staying there, what if you go here? I go through here, do you, and you should still be there because that's how pre-placed panels work. And I do you, right? What, what does that let me do now? Um, if I could swap you for the laser via this one, the laser will go into you. I kind of want it to come out somewhere entirely different. Plus, I can't go in and out of there now, can I? So what if we had this one again? That. And that. Right. So what does that give us access to now? That lets us come back up to this side where we can go around here. We can get a new cube of the weighted variety which is doing things over there which would let me take it up into that space there but that's kind of useless right surely I need to swap you for the laser alignment cube can I swap you for a laser alignment cube I don't think I can at the moment um What could we do now then? Why why did I need to do that? Feels like that should be the laser alignment cube doing that, because then it could hit there. So do I need to get back over there then? If we did You went back this way now. Uh, drop back down to here. Can portals turn off? Because I don't have access to stuff anymore. What if we do what I think? is portal pocketing, if I'm understanding that idea correctly. So you, go sit in there, right? Now, I can come round this way, jump off of here. Those stay in place. Uh, portal pocketing is the, basically, multiple locations of portals and pre-placed portal panels, meaning you have to take many, many steps to get at the same thing, like that, right? See, it was in a couple of locations before we got it anywhere near a location we actually wanted. So then if I do you here, probably makes sense to line up with you first, really, wouldn't it? You there to there, then, would give me that set of stairs that way. Wouldn't it? What am I trying to do ultimately? Ultimately, I guess... We need a way to get up there. 
to get up there, we're going to have to have that set of stairs. Which means they're going to have to have a laser all the way on. And to get up there, that means we could leave a portal up there from either of these locations. And then use our pre-placed one to get over towards the exit. Okay, so that means I want permanent stairs. Permanent stairs require permanent laser. Permanent laser requires you. Doing you or doing you? Probably you first, right? Like that. Then I want to get back over there. If I stand on that button, it gives me laser, I can get back up to that side. Uh, to get back to around all that stuff now, let's go back this way so that I can stand on here, which if I had any skill at alignment would mean that that was somewhere useful. Did I not line that up at all properly? Is that not going anywhere good at all? No, it's completely out of line. Because I I suck, apparently. Uh, well, that's not too hard to get to. That's up this set of convenient stairs here. Why can't I line these up properly? It's it's this, like, track here, right? No, it's this track here. Depth perception. Why do you fail me so constantly? So to you. Then if I go do you over there, I can get back up to there, which makes sense for the moment. So let's do that, because things that make sense for the moment are at least a form of progress. Like that. Which would let me get back up... There. Getting back up there... Means I can go... And realign things again. We're going to need a permanent laser, which means we're probably going to need to... Get a new cube. I also need to realign you, right? So I need you for the final set of stairs. Uh, let's do this up here then. Which goes this way. There are ceiling panels, so that is a way back there. Do I get a new cube now? Or do we want permanent laser now? I think permanent laser now would make more sense from what we actually have access to. Yeah, okay, uh, let's get a new cube then and pocket you in this direction. You can come keep this permanently activated for me like so. Gets rid of this again, meaning I could get back up there. By getting back up here, we can go around uh, this way. And we could do you. If we do you, we have permanently installed stair access back this way, which means we could go over here and realign that laser cube to give us the stairs we need over there, like so. Nope, like so. Those stairs are now activated. Uh, meaning I could leave a portal up there above the door and we can walk all the way back apart from the fact that there is a bloody great fizzler in the way. Ah, but we do have permanent laser, right? And we can respawn that cube, the laser reflection cube, to get back into there, leaving an ever so useful panel portal with pre-placed portal access this way. And hopefully... Hopefully I'm actually right. Uh, this makes sense in my head, but as we all know, puzzles where things make sense in my head rarely work out at the last possible moment. So there's a portal really usefully over by the exit, right? And there is a portal really usefully there. However, Fizzler's in the way. But permanent laser means get new reflection cube. New reflection cube means we can still do you here. Which should give me unrestricted access all the way to the exit. Yeah, cool. 
that that was very, very satisfying and very confusing amount of pocketing. Also, I don't often get to use the phrase pocketing in, in the UK. That means something very, very different. Um, not rude this time. Well, I mean, it's rude to do, but uh, any innuendo you are inferring from me at this point is purely your own dirty, dirty mind and not mine for once. That was Courier, created by Hanky Mueller and recommended by Dot Milo and based on the original puzzle design of Asphyxia by Alison Ghost and Ozzy Flowwall. So a very big thank you once again to that long list of names. If you would like to recommend a map for me to try and play and satisfy my curiosity for science, then please go ahead and do so via the usual means. And until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, remember this, you should always check your own pockets. You never know what could be in them. Sometimes it could be something good. Sometimes it could be something bad, but hopefully something good. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.